Hello everyone. Welcome to the third video on management of breast cancer. In the first video, we discussed on how to classify the patients as having non-metastatic breast cancer and metastatic breast cancer. And non-metastatic breast cancer classified as non-invasive and invasive, then the invasive one into early breast cancer and locally advanced breast cancer. So if a patient is having tumor size more than 5 cm or else axillary lymph node involvement more than 3 nodes and no metastasis then it is locally advanced breast cancer. So how to manage these patients? We will discuss this one the systemic management, breast management and regional lymph nodes management. Here discussing on systemic management first. In patients with locally advanced breast cancer, one popular option is to give neoadjuvant therapy. The reason behind this is, by giving neoadjuvant therapy, we can downgrade the tumor and target on breast conservation surgery. As neoadjuvant therapy, we can give chemotherapy or endocrine therapy. For HER2 receptor positive disease, we can give drugs like and as systemic therapy, before the surgery we give new adjuvant therapy and after the surgery we can give adjuvant therapy as well. So as adjuvant therapy the available options are endocrine therapy, chemotherapy and biologic therapy. That is regarding the systemic management of locally advanced breast cancer. Then how we can manage the primary breast lesion. The target is to do breast conservation surgery after downsizing the tumor. And also mastectomy is an option. We decide on mastectomy on these patients depending on the response to the neoadjuvant therapy. After the neoadjuvant therapy, the patient will be reassessed and decide whether it is possible to do mastectomy or breast conservation surgery. So the criteria for deciding this is same as early breast cancer. So go back to that video and watch that again then you will understand what are the indications to do mastectomy in these patients. And also, if the patient is having large lesion like T4 lesion, then they should undergo mastectomy definitely. Like that, for the breast management, mastectomy is an option. And also, if we downsize the tumor, then breast conservation surgery can be done. How we can manage the regional lymph nodes? First, we examine the patient. If palpable lymph nodes are there, then tissue diagnosis can be done with guided FNAC or we can do core needle biopsy. If the guided FNAC or needle biopsy comes as positive, then we clinically categorize these patients whether they are having N1, N2 or N3. So how we can categorize as N1, N2 or N3 we discussed on the initial video on staging of breast cancer. If less than 3 nodes are in node, equal or less than 3, then it is clinically N1. Then we can give new adjuvant for these patients. After the new adjuvant, we reassess the patient. If still the palpable nodes are present, then we should do axillary lymph node dissection plus post-operative radiotherapy for these patients. Assume after the new adjuvant, palpable nodes are not there. Then we do ultrasound scan of the axilla. In the ultrasound scan, if suspicious nodes are present, then 
we should do accelerant lymph node dissection plus radiotherapy. And after new adjuvant, no palpable lymph nodes are there. And we do the ultrasound scan. In the ultrasound scan also, lymph nodes are not there. Then, we can do sentinel lymph node biopsy. If sentinel lymph node biopsy intraoperative becomes positive, then external lymph node dissection plus radiotherapy should be done. If the sentinel lymph node biopsy becomes negative, then no external lymph node dissection is needed but radiotherapy can be given for these patients because initially the biopsy came as positive lymph nodes. So that is how we manage a patient who had clinically palpable lymph node then we did guided FNAC or core needle biopsy which came as positive and the patient had clinically N1 disease less than 3 lymph node involvement so we gave new adjuvant and did the further management assume that the patient has palpable lymph nodes and the biopsy come as positive and the patient is having N2 or N3 disease then we should do external lymph node dissection plus radiotherapy for these patients that is how we can manage patients who are biopsy positive external lymph nodes if the patient is having palpable lymph nodes but the FNAC or core needle biopsy comes as negative then how can we manage these patients then clinically it is a node disease so we can give new adjuvant for these patients and intraoperatively sentinel lymph node biopsy can be done if sentinel lymph node biopsy becomes positive then external lymph node dissection and radiotherapy should be done if sentinel lymph node biopsy become negative then no further axillary management is needed Like that, we can manage patients with palpable axillary lymph nodes. If palpable axillary lymph nodes are not there on initial clinical examination, then we can do ultrasound scan for those patients. If ultrasound scan comes as positive, then we can do guided FNAC and core needle biopsy. And depending on these biopsy findings, whether it is positive or negative, we can do the further management as we did previously for palpable lymph nodes. If ultrasound is also not showing any lymph nodes, then clinically also lymph nodes are not there and ultrasound also not showing any lymph nodes. Then it is clinically a node disease. So intraoperatively we can do sentinel lymph node biopsy for these patients and do the further management as we discussed previously for those with palpable external lymph nodes. Like that we can do regional lymph node management for patients with locally advanced breast carcinoma. So we discussed about the systemic management for these patients. Look, for patients with locally advanced breast cancer, there is a place for neoadjuvant therapy with either chemotherapy or endocrine therapy to downgrade the tumor. And also the breast management can be done with mastectomy or after downsizing can be done with breast conservation surgery and also regional lymph node management can be done as we discussed in this video. So questions can be asked in your exam regarding this management pathway. So you need to have some idea about this management options.
Let's look at few questions. In this question, it is mentioned 35 year old female with T4N1 MX breast carcinoma. What is the most appropriate initial step of management? If you classify this patient, it is a T4 disease. T4 means it has invaded the chest wall or the skin. Therefore, it is either a locally advanced breast carcinoma or it is metastatic breast carcinoma. Since MX is there, the metastatic status is not known for this patient. Therefore, either this patient is having locally advanced or metastatic, both are possible. What is the most appropriate initial step of management? So, if this patient is not having any metastasis, then the best approach would be giving neoadjuvant therapy, then downsize the tumor and try to do breast conservation surgery. At this stage, there is no place for breast conservation surgery. However, there is a place for neoadjuvant therapy for these patients. In a future video, we will discuss about the management of metastatic breast carcinoma as well. However, for this patient, the best answer would be new adjuvant therapy. This is another patient which is not regarding the management of breast carcinoma. However, previously we discussed in a previous video about the evaluation of breast carcinoma. This patient is regarding that. 65 year old female has suspicious malignant lump in mammogram. FNAC report unremarkable. Next best investigation for diagnosis. So, this patient has suspicious malignant lump in mammogram. So, the best investigation would be to cut biopsy for this patient. So, the correct answer is A to cut biopsy. Like that, questions can be asked in your exam. Therefore, be thorough with this theory knowledge, then you can easily answer the questions.